all started back in November of 2014, I guess. Um, I was over at uh, Shannon Malloy, my girlfriend and lead actress, her house, and we were just hanging out. Um, and she'd run upstairs to grab something, and I was, I was, I had, I had uh, the films on a shoestring festival on my radar, and I knew I had to come up with something good for it. It was my senior year at Fossil. I, uh, I just knew I had to, you know, like get in one last hurrah. So I was just trying, just sitting there on the steps, just like trying to think of good ideas and what can I do and what, you know, where can I go with this? And she comes down the stairs and she's like standing in the kitchen, and I think for a second. And I just stand up and I go, a girl who has cancer lives out her life in dreams. And she just looks at me and she goes, yes, that's what we're doing. And I'm like, awesome. So from there, we just kind of ran with it. Me, Noah Clark, Austin Brosey, our sound guy and our PA and uh, our assistant camera guy, um, and a couple other people, um, Casey or one of them, uh, we just kind of went through and we developed that idea of Dreamer and just kind of thought you know, uh, through through some different ideas and, and the story and what the conflict would be. Um, and I spent a lot of time at work and at school just thinking about developing it and characters and, and, and a little bit of everything. Yeah. Hey, Sleepy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's the line. No, it's not. Yeah. Sam, what are you doing here? I, I, thought, I, I, thought, I thought that was it. I, I thought it was Sam, what are you doing here? By. That, whew, okay, she was awesome. I mean, it was, it definitely helped that Shannon, I think, is a lot more ahead of where she thinks she is, because when Shannon and Rebecca came together, like, they just, I, I almost felt like I didn't have to do anything. Like, I'm just like, here's the general situation, here's this, here's your perspective on it, here's your perspective on it, run with it. And then they just throw something back and forth at each other, and then I'd be like, good, this, this do it again, and then boom, and then we'd be ready to shoot. And it was just, like, efficient and, and easy, and it was it was something that was very nice because she knew what she was doing, and she definitely had that professional presence in the room that made us want to, like, lock down and get work done because it was one of those longer shooting days where we were in in on location for, I want to say, probably eight or nine hours. So, so she helped us, like, get back focused in, which was good, and she just kind of gave us that extra that we needed but yeah working as a director working with an adult actress um was very different from working with student actors yeah, oh, wait, don't let down. Just look around. i'm not even standing there nervous. <laughs> take a step back go quick and then here let me show you what you're gonna be doing no. The deadline for um, the film festival was April 16th, and so it was, I want to say it was about the 6th or 7th, and uh, Shannon played Leah, also one of our associate producers, especially for this reason, but she just kind of sent out a group text, and she's like, hey guys, the movie is due in like 10 days, and we have to film 15 out of the 19 pages of it, what are we going to do? <laughs> So we're like, all right, meeting. And so we met up at a frozen yogurt place and we just like sat down and we're like, all right, let's bust this out. We pulled out our calendars, just like, I work this day, this day, this day, this day. Well, I work this day. Okay, well, we can figure something out because, you know, we had to figure out we had to figure out when we could take the hotel because we had to pay for it and everything, which kind of sucked. But we had to figure out who could film when and who we needed what days. And we just pulled out the scripts, pulled out calendars, and we're just like, ugh, just like, ugh, got to get it done. <laughs> We had no school on the Friday the week before the film was due. But Thursday night, there was an all-night all event at the school where a large number of my crew was, was helping out there with um, some camera positions and editing positions. So they were at the school all day, all day on Thursday, and then they stayed after school until 7 or 8 o'clock the next morning. So they were there basically 24 hours, and they didn't get sleep or anything. They show up on my set at like 11 o'clock the next morning, and they're just like dead but they they knew what they had to do and we busted it out austin brosey ended up like getting seriously ill for like the next two weeks like 103 degree fever and like oh, throwing up and everything so like so people got so i think these hours and dollars and everything that was put in was worth it but yeah it was definitely just like 
10 days before we're like, hey, it's due in 10 days. And then we just kind of like locked in and, and got it done. And it was it was crazy and hectic. And we I had a feeling it was going to come down to that. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, we got it done. And we got it in in time. And everything was okay and good. So. All right. We're going to have a focus off. So get as out of focus as you can. And then as soon as you're in focus, snap snap a picture. Is it, does it have to be one motion? Yeah, ready? One, one motion, ready? Mine's probably going to One, two, three, go.